Ah, got our monster bass box right here. There we go, baby. Let's go. Oh, Norm, let's go. Oh, Norm, let's go. We just got out of the truck. What's up, guys? This is TJ, aka Fishing with the Pack. I'm here today with my good friend, Fishing with Norm. Hey, Hello. let's let's not speed pass this rule. Let me show you. Oh, what them things fire! After like literally half a year of TJ telling me to buy Yeezys, I finally, you know, decided to waste money on them. Pure pressure. Hey, but yeah, we got them. We I got can feel things. the heat coming from from up from there. Them well, things. Bass don't stand a chance. <laughs> what can I say? So we're here today, as you can see behind me on the truck, we've got. A uh, monster bass box here. I've officially partnered up with monster bass. You know why? Because I got tired of catching little fish. I got tired of catching little fish. So it's time. It's time to go catch some monster bass. So I thought, you know what? What's the what's the best way to uh, keep this wind from blowing? What's the best way to uh, really put this box to the test? And we're here, as Norm and I usually always are. We're here in the Walmart parking lot. And what we're going to do, we're going to go inside and we're going to create our own tackle box full of our own fishing lures that you know you pick from the shelf or whatever and we're gonna basically 1v1 with this monster bass box versus a homemade do-it-yourself pick my own lures tackle box from Walmart so with all that said let's go ahead and get inside Walmart let's go ahead and pick some of these lures out we're gonna create our own tackle box like I said it's gonna be pretty fun it should be a fun time we're gonna put this yeah what's up bro no <laughs> there we go that's good man we'll put this back in the truck for now Norm just met a fan. That's always fun. You fish around here at all? It's always awesome when that happens. You know, you know the only reason that he stopped and said what's up? No, stop. No, I'm <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make our way in Walmart. Let's go buy some fish and lures. I always get excited. Every time I go into Walmart, let me make sure I got my wallet. <gasps> okay, we're good. Yeah, I always Wait, get excited. I got, okay, I got my, mine too. <laughs> I forgot all of my razors. My Yo. toothbrush, my deodorant, my shampoo, the whole toiletry bag. We left it, so I gotta buy all the toiletries. To be fair, to be fair, the way Norman and I planned this trip <laughs> was like, I think we were playing Search and Destroy on Call of Duty and was like, yeah. hey, you wanna go to Jacksonville this weekend and make <laughs> videos? I think that's how he did it, but we got us a hotel. Norm forgot everything, so we gotta, that's another reason we gotta come to Walmart to, you know, our life is just a scrambled mess. It really is, and speaking of scrambled mess, my mask is in the truck? In the truck. Okay, that's, all right. We'll see you guys in Walmart. All right, guys, we're here now in the Walmart fishing section, and uh, to my surprise, this one's full. Yeah. Like, this one's <laughs> very full. This one's a lot more full than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, but we are gonna, we're looking for, we're looking for a little tackle box about the same size, okay? Here we go, all right. I think I found it. We're gonna get something, something along the lines of that. Probably this green one. Green looks pretty cool. All right, and it's cheap too, 244. Can't go wrong with a budget. So we're gonna fill this up with some fishing lures, and then uh, we're basically gonna compare this random DIY box versus the uh, the Monster Bass box. All right, good catch. Thanks. <laughs> so I'm gonna fill this box up with just like a whole bunch of random fishing lures, and uh, I don't know how we're gonna do this. We got some curly tail worms, we got some speed worms. Can never go wrong with uh, curly tail worms or speed worms. Let's see, we need, a, we need a moving bait, we need a trap. Let's get some kind of, where is it? Let's see, where is it? There they are, okay. Let's get some kind of, I guess rattle trap or something? Yeah, why not? The all silver, can't go wrong with that. All right, let's see, next, you can't not be in Florida and you can't not be in Florida and throw a chatterbait. When you come to Florida, you wanna throw chatterbaits. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Can't go wrong with that. Boom, in the buggy it goes. I think we, uh, nah, we got, we got a little, little more room, a little more room to add a couple more lures. Let's see. All right, let's see, we need to add probably one or two more things and then we're gonna be good to go. Let's get some lizards. Fish like lizards, right? I like lizards. I would eat a lizard. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't eat a lizard. You guys are going to be in the comments like, oh, eat a lizard, eat a lizard. <laughs> Maybe. Guys, so as I'm picking out these lures right here with Norm, we just noticed something. Like, I don't know how we, we did notice it. Let me just start on this end. Look how many, like, I've never seen these combos before, these new lose combos. These are crazy looking. What even, what even is, oh, God. Oh, no. 
Oh, God. <laughs> I, I help you. <laughs> Look at this. The Valor BG. BG stands for big game, I would assume, because that is a big rod and reel combo. That's salt water. That's got to be, dude. Yeah, seven foot, medium heavy. That's definitely salt water. Stands dude. for bass grabbing. Bass grabbing. Tackle snatching. Oh, gosh. Dude. Oh, that's how big you. this rod is. Just tell me this isn't the cleanest $50 combo you could ever buy. Literally. Like, that that is, thing is popping. Dude, the color on that is insane. Holy cow. The laser dude, why, did I, why have I never seen these before? Like, I'm legit like... It's funny because I did so much research on the loose stuff when I was ordering mine. And they have all these store exclusives. So every time you walk into Walmart, Academy, they have all these ones that they don't sell on their website in the stores. Like, uh, yeah, that's the thing is like... I posted a picture of a baitcaster combo from Bass Pro like two or three days ago on my Instagram, and people were like, oh, where do you get that? But it was like, I didn't, and I didn't know this until recently, but a lot of these, like this, these are two lures right here. I bet you guys have probably never seen those before. A lot of these are like store exclusive. So these are like Walmart in collaboration with Lou's, and like you'll have like Academy with Lou's, and then Bass Pro with Lou's, but I'm not gonna speed past these because that is probably the best $50 yeah, combo I've was. ever seen. That one looks cool too with the green and the smoke gray on it. And then you've got this blue one right here. Dude, tell me, look at this. That's not like one of the coolest $30, $30 combos. Dude, I got chills. Like I actually just got chills really in this thing. I'm not even kidding. Dude, this is nuts. And then if you move a little bit further down, you've got the best bait caster combo in Walmart. That's insane. Anyways, Norm and I are gonna finish filling this box up uh, we're gonna go check out, we're gonna go pay for everything, and then uh, we'll meet you guys outside by the truck. I need to bust my, bust my energy drink open too, holy smokes. Mm. Ah, ah. All right, check it out guys. We've got, our, we've got our Monster Bass box right here, and we've got our homemade do-it-yourself fishing kit right here from Walmart. A little Ozark Trails tackle box. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna load this box down right here with the baits that we bought inside of Walmart. And we're gonna take this monster bass box and like I said, we're gonna 1v1 and then we've got worms and then we've got top water and worms in here. And that way it kind of gives us a little, uh, a good baseline, a good even competition. So which box is truly best? So your monthly subscription monster bass box or the do it yourself Walmart box. So uh, let's get this box loaded up. Let's get in the truck and let's go fish. You ready Norm? I'm ready, I'm ready. to fish, let's do it. All right, ladies and gents, we're here now. We've got our monster bass box. We've got our uh, do it yourself Walmart kit. What we're gonna do since it's bright and early in the morning, We've got fishing with Norm, strapping up. We've got Devin over there. He's the local. He's our local guide today. Uh, he's probably going to be the one that catches all the fish. <laughs> Don't forget to use the uh, link down in the description below to get your Monster Bass box. Oh, dude. There we go, baby. There we go. There we go. Let's go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let's go, let's go, baby. Oh, it hurts. Yep. On the monster bass frog, baby. You gotta love it. Dude, that's crazy. Catching monster bass on the monster bass baits. Topwater baits at that. Let's go. Oh my gosh. All right, ladies and gents. Nice little three. What do you think, Norm? Three, three and a half? Yeah. I think it's like a YouTube six. I'm just saying, solid fish. You gotta love it on the, uh, the monster bass frog. All right, dude. Well, thanks for playing and uh, go grow a little bit. We'll catch you next. Oh, what in the world was that? Oh, Norm, let's go. Oh, Norm, let's go. We just got out of the truck. Well, we just got out of the truck. Oh my goodness. Not deep, let's go. Get him. I said not deep. I've, nice never, fish. <laughs> I've never been here. Norm, please get him. Oh, he didn't come off. Dude, I don't know how to, I'm already going to that. Just grab him. Please just grab him. Please just grab him. Jack bag, I don't know where he took that. Bro, what are you using? A, a, a top water spoof. I don't want to get, dude, I've had too many trouble hooks in my hand. How big is that thing? Okay, there we go, there we go. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> I was literally gonna let him go because I didn't want to get hooked. That's how bad I did. Oh, bro. <laughs> Guys, check that out. First cast of the day. It's overcast. As you can tell, it's raining out here. So I decided, you know, 
probably the top water would be the move to start her out. Probably good, I don't know, four and a half, maybe five. I don't know, we don't have the scale on us, so I'm not gonna call it five pounds, but I mean, just big and ate the top water here in Florida. So much fun, we're gonna let her go. When that fish came on the monster bass. Oh, we're geez, touching, touching tips. tips. Uh, this is the Monster Bass, Monster Bass exclusive, I think, actually. It has a red hook and the black hook on the back. It's loud, saying. too. I like loud. Yeah, bass. yeah. Dude, that was crazy. <laughs> what a catch, Norm. Well, it's become very apparent after uh, a good 30 minutes or so that nothing wants to eat the uh, the rattle trap. <laughs> Let's just try a big old worm. So far, not so good on the uh, the DIY Walmart tackle box. Devin is slaying on the uh, the Monster Bass frog. Update, another 30 minutes later, started raining a little bit and we still haven't caught anything on the Walmart box. All right, ladies and gents, as you can see, we've switched spots and uh, the fish just weren't really 100% committed to biting where we were at. And it was very, we never did end up catching anything on the uh, do-it-yourself Walmart box. I don't know what's up with that because I put lures in there that were actually good. So it looks like Devin way over there has, uh, he's caught one or two. Let's go ahead and check in on the, uh, the dev cam. There we go. There she is. Right as it came up. There he is. All right, nice little chunk. On the frog, right in the roof of his mouth. There he is. Check that out right there. Are you trying to stand here and get soaked? Because I'm not. <laughs> 